Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Maggard Purple Swirl. It has a Plisson type synthetic Maggard Plisson type synthetic. Now I didn't honestly of all the knots that I've tried to tried quite a few of them. Uh, some of the newer knots, like the black synthetics and stuff, I haven't, but I've, I've tried at least four or five old school synthetics, uh, Uber Soft and the uh, Mula Silvertip Fiber and, and a couple of others. And, and the, the Plisson, even this, to me, doesn't match the true Plisson knot, but this these are the closest. And I... And, I prefer that knot over all of them. That's personal preference. All right, uh, the soap tonight is Wild West Shavings George's Barbershop. And this is a tallow soap, of course. Uh, and Wild West Shavings says George's Barbershop is a work of dedication to Curtis George of East Coast Wet Shavings. Group on Facebook, Curtis is a lover of Old West themes, photos, and art. And this has leather, smoky leather, neroli, <clears throat> vanilla, black pepper, and bergamot. And this is just a really lovely, to me, the, the smoky leather is like predominant in it. You can get most of the other stuff, but that leather... Like that, the neroli I'm getting in the back, and the vanilla. Mm. But the leather is uh, uh, the predominant scent. It's really strong and powerful, in my opinion. It's very masculine uh, scent. Just lovely stuff. We're going to go ahead and move down and uh, start to shave. All right, we're ready. To me, it's called George's Barbershop, but there's this is not, in my opinion, a barbershop in the traditional sense. There's no really, uh, nothing that reminds me of the modern barbershop sense uh, in this soap, but the leather and the neroli and the bergamot the the particularly the smokiness of the leather and all of that to me kind of remind me of what i would think of a western barbecue of course you're going to see a high concentration of leather because everything was made out of leather the seats were made out of leather the the uh straps were made out of leather the chaps they wore when they walked in the door the uh the gun belt and, and all of that, you're going to see, you're going to smell that scent of leather in all of it. Uh, the only thing missing from this that I think probably should be in this, if you're really going to uh, talk about a western barbershop, there should be some kind of bourbon or blended whiskey type of scent in this because I mean I don't know what to use for disinfectant I don't know if rubbing alcohol was available back then but I do know uh, that alcohol grain alcohol and stuff like that was available I suspect uh, they used that and so in my opinion that's the only thing missing from this if you really wanted to look at a, an old west style uh, barbershop that would be that would be let me I'm trying to get that that would be in my opinion something that would go well in this scent but it's a lovely like I said a really masculine type scent a beautiful leather and uh well, well thought out. And of course, uh, I'm expecting the same kind of 
performance that I've got from everything that I've tried from Russell. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the sheen on that, but that's just absolutely lovely. Beautiful. I'm going to go with that. They could probably use a little bit more water. But we're going to go with that. Alright, we're back. I've got maybe three days of growth. Something like that. Yeah. Wow, wonderful on the face. Uh, once again, the, I mean, and I needed more water. I didn't say. Once again, uh, the rest of the uh, ingredients start to bloom out of the soap. But the it's a wonderfully strong scent, if you like. Strongly scented soaps. This is fairly robust. Lovely. Alright. Now my razor tonight is a gold dollar, but I can't remember which one. Uh, a gold dollar, 300, 1000, something like that. It's the one with the, the blue scales uh i can't keep them straight one of these gold dollars of mine is one that actually needs a haunting job i forget what i did to it but i i used it in some way that basically killed the edge on it i can't remember what it was which one it was uh this one would not pass a hanging hair test when i stropped it this evening so what i did was give it 10 passes on a barber's home that i have and it's passing hht now We'll see if I have to change the blade mid shave. I don't have a problem doing that. So I need to find that puppy anyway. So ain't this blade lovely? One of the things. that I really like about the Barber's Horn, I believe mine is a champion. Don't really matter. There's all different kinds. Some of them good, some of them bad. And you pretty much are taking your chances when you get one on that score. But one of the things I like about the one that I have And that's the only one I have experience with, so. Is that when I use it to refresh a blade, everybody talks about the things being 8,000 grit and this, that, and the other. Well, I don't know anything about that. And, I, I, you know, uh, the use of a barber, barber's hone is uh, supposed to be very few laps to refresh an edge. And they work, this one works really well for that. And I get the edge of whatever stone I put on it. It feels just like it did before it lost its edge a bit. If you understand that, and it just works really well I don't use it a lot I prefer to uh, I 
I prefer to that's a little high I prefer to put it on a stone uh, my J nut or my Escher and refresh it that way but I started out this prepping for this shave and I'm going I'm shaving for church tonight and I really don't have time so The little champion barber home. Got the call and it was a good call. I'm going to add just a bit of water to this soap because it needs it, in my opinion. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and do that number. Lovely. Beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love it when a shave comes together like that. That's beautiful shave. Uh, there we go. Cold water rinse. Lovely. And what I'm going to do, let me dry my face. I'm going to follow that up with some Aramis. Beautiful. Good stuff. All right. Wild West Shavings, George's Barbershop, if you like smoky leather and roly and vanilla and bergamot you'll love that all right god bless you i'll talk to you later